I would just like to point out that I am about to head off to Asia and I'm still making a video. So that's how much I love you and that, and that is how much I am dedicated to my art and my craft. So hello everybody and welcome back. I just wanted to discuss a very quick but jarring moment that I had um, a few days ago. It's, uh, it's around the middle of the day. Um, I'm on my lunch break from work and I'm walking like to my, the parking structure where, where my car is. Walking towards the parking structure where my car is and around the area that I work, um, which is Hollywood, uh, there are a fair amount of vagrants slash homeless people. Basically what happened is that I was in a rush to get to my car and this homeless guy walks past me and he asked for money. I didn't, I didn't register like with him. I, I don't, I don't know how to explain why I didn't like answer him because Usually I'm pretty good about just saying that no, I don't have any any money on me because I usually carry cards so I'm sorry I don't have any cash on me. I think it was just because I was in a rush to get to my car or something or or maybe it was it's just because my internalized privilege but I neglected to respond to him. And so first he was like, hey, can I have some money? And then I walked past him and then he's like, or be treated like a human being. So he had already walked past me by that point but that statement really made me stop in my tracks. This isn't the first time that I've heard that, you know, we need to treat homeless people more like human beings because we treat them like they have like a plague on them or something like that, which is really gross and sickening and really dehumanizing. This is the first time that a homeless person has actually in person said to me that I'm not treating them like a human being. And it just took me aback because, you know, like, I felt like a hypocrite in that moment. I felt like this, I know this sounds really privileged because, you know, I'm talking about this in my comfortable home. And I'm, I'm discussing, you know, like, the intellect of this sentence that a homeless person said to me. But um, because I do so much work with social justice and stuff, it really, like, threw in my face that just because of how much privilege I have, like, there is still a level of, like, in on-the-field learning that I have to do, I guess. I don't know if that makes sense, but it's like, I make pieces based on, you know, cultural appropriation and like discussing like why things are wrong and things like that. But when something as simple as a homeless person tries to ask me for money and I don't respond to them, that's also a really problematic thing too that I don't think about. Like social justice is something that I guess I always have the privilege of approaching from a distance in that way. I don't think about how it plays into everyday interactions like those. I think about this a lot when I talk to other people of color and also people that are um, into social justice like I am. But when it comes to people like homeless people, I think there's still a lot of unlearning that I have to do. It's, it's, it's very, very privileged of me to forget to respond to someone and to treat them like a basic human being. I'm gonna do my best to fix it. I'm gonna try my best to not make videos talking about it because <laughs> What good does that do for them, really? This was just like a short thing that I wanted to get off of my chest. We obviously should do more than just discuss about it because, you know, when you discuss about it, like what good are you actually doing? It's like for the people that are actually, you know, getting hurt from something, but these were just some thoughts I had. So thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate you. I will see you guys next week, technically, but I already kind of talked to you guys for the next two following weeks because I pre-recorded. Anyways, I already told you. Okay, bye. <laughs>